J. April on Maui. Down in Kihei, on the southern coast of Maui, there's an ancient fish pond that was one of the most magnificent royal fish ponds in all of Hawaii, and is being restored by the Fish Pond Association of Maui, uh, primarily by Kanaka, by Native Hawaiians, and by others as well. And over the past several years, we've been documenting the restoration. This is a treasure that we need to malama, and by doing this, I'm preserving it for my kids. I like from, I like from 10, 20, 50 years from now, I want my kids, kids, my nieces and nephews to be talking and saying, oh yeah, my uncle guys, my uncle Wayne, my uncle Kelson, my auntie them, they all came down, they all went kokua to this wall. And they go, these are the, 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 the hard work of, of, of some Hawaiians that believe in what the kupuna believed and believe that if they lao lima, if we put it all together, we can make it happen. We can, we can move mountains, bro. Hello. So we've made a couple of films. Uh, the first film is a reenactment of scenes from the past and tells the history of the fish pond. When Kamehameha came and visited, for instance, or when the elite used to hang out there, or when the whaling ships would come and, and trade Irish potatoes from Kula in exchange for goods from the mainland. It's an amazing story. It's a renaissance of the Hawaiian culture right here on Maui. Uh, and these, these ancient stones are now rising again from the sea and being restored to their uh, splendor. The design of Loko Kuapa is unique to Hawaii. These enclosed semi-circular rock wall fish ponds were built on shoals or reef flats near a freshwater stream or spring. The shoreline served as the inner wall of the pond and the outer walls facing the open sea had puka, or openings called awaikei, channels installed with makaha, or sluice gates. These makaha made of ohia or lumber wood allowed sea water to flow in and out of the pond. In the Hawaiian way of thinking, it is maka, or eyes that would see the fish, and ha, the breath of the living sea that would circulate the water. Fish would swim into the pond through the bars of the maka. And since fish are a lot like people, they would eat and eat and eat, feeding upon seaweed and algae in the shallow, nutrient-rich water. Until, like this o'opuhue, or puffer fish, they grew too fat to get out. The sequel to the first film is about that effort, what's going on right now to restore a symbol of Hawaiian independence. But it's not just independence, it's actually the most fundamental um, environmental story that there is. This is a culture that divided its land in the form of a'upa'a, which were triangular pieces of land that would extend all the way from the mountain, in this case Haleakala, all the way to the sea. This balanced form of land management granted every inhabitant access to fresh water, food, medicine, and building materials for shelter and canoes, all the ingredients necessary to sustain life. And Ahupua was called rich according to the number of fish ponds it contained. At the time Captain Cook arrived in Hawaii in 1778, more than 350 thriving fish ponds were spread out along the coasts and uplands of the island chain, feeding thousands. So if you were sailing by, say, a thousand years ago and you saw this, um, you knew that these were a formidable people, and these were a people that were completely self-sufficient environmentally. We talk about sustainable development these days. We talk about how we need to feed ourselves and take care of ourselves. Well, a thousand years ago, these people did exactly that, and they had all the vegetables and all the fish and all the food you can possibly imagine, and uh, they knew how to do it. So if we want to look forward, all we have to do is take a look back, and we'll find all the lessons we need for a healthy, uh, sustainable future. This fish pond is one of the last historical significant places that you can see. And without those significant places, you lose the story of what Hawaii used to be, what Hawaii can continue to be, and the shaping and changing of Hawaii. This is why we're here today. 
Now we're here more than just an organization or association. Now we're here because it's a way of our life. It's our kuleana, it's our responsibility. I don't say it's my kuleana, I say it's all our kuleana. It's important because our kupuna had done things that we're trying to reinvent. And now I see a statement. Uh, people have spent time and energy to put back a new force into the ocean. The sequel is essentially a, a pure documentation of the fish pond being rebuilt. It's bringing so much pride back to the Hawaiian culture here on Maui and everywhere because now when you see these rocks coming up above the waves and, and reappearing as this refrigerator in the ocean that was so significant to the Hawaiians of ancient days, it's literally the rebuilding of a culture. And, and that's what makes it beautiful and that's what makes it great that we were part of that and allowed to be part of that. And we hope to make more films like this in the future.